Um, resources that I've used on training with Paige and some of my younger cults is going back to the been there and done it. The people that you know, you've watched, you've grown up watching, that are the solid, proven, over and over again trainers. And uh, live, you know, doing, asking for advice, maybe taking a one-on-one -on -one lesson and you know, asking what they think. And you're, ne you're never a phone call away from asking for help either from those people that you trust. My resources that I go back to a lot is my mom. I've learned everything from my mom. And I also have Kay Davis, Lucy Schnabel. I, I really value their opinion. Um, when I'm on the road, I can ask them questions. Um, I'll go stay with Lindsay Sears. I mean, we can run things by each other. I ask with the contestants around me, you know, if some of them I trust, I ask their opinions and what they're seeing because what I'm feeling may not be what it looks like or what they see. So, I mean, I, I look to anybody. Um, the mental aspect of too, I look at like basketball players, Michael Jordan. I loved Michael Jordan and how he approached his game and was very competitive. And just, I, I watch all kinds of different sports and look to what they're doing. I feel like Barrison's become so competitive in, in anything you can do to improve yourself or your horse and gain knowledge uh, will benefit you down the road. And, uh, you know, I, I think that it's important to have somebody that you can talk to about um, maybe what's going on and, you know, maybe the similar style of riding that you uh, want to, you know, maybe ride after or uh, have your horse work like. But I think it's very important to have uh, maybe not even a mentor, but somebody that you can break down barrel racing to and, and kind of talk about it that's going to be on your side and help you get through the hard times and, you know, point out all the positive things that you're doing. Uh, because it, it is sometimes you, you get down on yourself and just are consumed with all the negative things that you're doing and uh, you've got to find some positive thing in, in what you're doing. <laughs> the most common thing is too many steps that you see out there like where you lose time at. Just too many extra steps around the barrels. So you may, in your approach also you can take too wide of an approach and you can lose time there. I know as a lefty there's quite a few arenas that I go into that I have to cross the eye sooner than you do going to the right because I'm having to go across the arena. So that is one thing for me that I know. I think a lot of times we'll lose time like in our turns or I mean certain ground situations. Um, for instance, my mare, she loves to run in rim shoes. Um, some horses don't. For me, if she's not in the rim shoes, it's how her style is. She can get a hold of something. I'm in the practice thing, just working on the little things. Any little detail I think really, really helps to keep that going. And one question, if I had to tell you what I see maybe barrel racers have a struggle with, or myself, if you could improve one barrel, they say the first barrel is the money barrel. And if you can get your first barrel down good, it kind of sets you up for the whole run. And I truly do believe that. And so, you know, sometimes you can overthink the first barrel and stress about it. And, but I, I do feel like if you can get your horse to, to turn the first barrel really well, you should improve your time, hopefully. <laughs>